<laughs> I thank the honourable member. I <laughs> give the call to the honourable member for Bass. <laughs> Deputy Speaker, Parkrun is an international phenomenon. There are at present 210 locations within Australia. These events are free, organised by local volunteers, and inclusive in that they are accessible for young or old, fit or unfit, male or female, regardless of ability or disability. There are, according to the Parkrun International site, 1,074 events worldwide in Australia, Canada, Denmark, France, Ireland, Italy, New Zealand, Poland, Russia, Singapore, South Africa, Sweden and the UK, where it was founded, and the United States. The central idea behind Parkrun is very simple. It is a weekly timed five kilometre run or walk over the same course each week at the same time without obligation or cost. Such is the popularity of parkrun. Many cities have multiple parkruns. Tasmania at present has Launceston, Hobart and Georgetown. Sorry, Launceston, Hobart and Devonport. Georgetown is to commence shortly, as will events elsewhere in the state, notably Windsor in my electorate. I ran my first parkrun at Launceston on the 23rd of February 2013. I've now run 139 parkruns, including 133 at Launceston, three at Arwalt Park in Melbourne, two at Burley Griffin here in Canberra, and one at Woodhouse Moor in Leeds in the United Kingdom. There are many obvious physical and also mental health benefits from undertaking parkrun. Not only is there a very clear correlation between physical exercise and mental health, the social aspect of parkrun is significant. As a regular at my home park run, but also a visitor to other park runs, it is interesting to note that the atmosphere of a park run event is welcoming and inviting. Each event will welcome visitors and first timers, and in particular people who arrive early so as to talk amongst themselves, or will cheer later finishers across the line and attend coffee after the event. It is very important to note that park run is not a competitive event in the sense of a race. Parkrun can be an individual challenge in that an individual might be motivated to better their time so as to produce a personal best. However, every regular parkrun attendee knows that the event is non-judgmental in that no one is expected to perform at a high level or indeed run, and as a consequence you'll often see people who will walk rather than run just to support someone who might be injured, a new participant or a child. The inclusive nature of the event is also emphasised by the fact that elite runners will sometimes walk the course or be seen walking with family or a dog or with a pram just in order to enjoy the social aspect of the event. As the event is put on by volunteers, all participants are encouraged to volunteer three times in each year. Participants are encouraged to thank volunteers as they run or walk around the course and also volunteers offer encouragement to participants. Launceston Park Run started with 92 participants four years ago. This calendar year, there have been four Launceston events with more than 300 attendees each Saturday morning. Thank you, Mr Speaker.